Chubbs by Tasha Henderson. He calls me Chubbs. It's a term of endearment, he tells me. He watches me poke and prod myself in the bathroom mirror, but he doesn't see what that one word does to me. He can't see how I won't look below my collarbone in my reflection or how shopping for clothes is like moving a mountain. Not too short, this one needs an undershirt, that one's cut too low. I pad myself in layers of clothing, my armor against that word and all it does to me. He thinks it's just normal female troubles and so he calls me Chubbs. What he doesn't know though, what he doesn't know can fill a book. What he doesn't see would bring tears to his eyes the moment I opened my tormented world to him. He doesn't see the emotional scars that one word rips open like a lion on a zebra. He doesn't see the painful memories of days past hurled forward in my mind like the day my mom found the empty Ipecac bottle under my bed. He doesn't understand why I mutter under my breath fridge wide open, bright light judging me yet again while I battle with myself over whether or not I have it in me to choke down yet another celery stick or if I'm going to say fuck it and have a cupcake. You're always on a diet, Chubbs, he says, and he's right. Ever since I can remember, I've been on every diet there is. Weight Watchers watching me gain a pant size because a Snickers bar is two points while an apple is four. Powders, potions, creams, laxatives, I've ruined my body with poisons trying to make it perfect. I didn't have an eating disorder. I had a thinking disorder. If he calls me Chubbs one more fucking time, no, no more. You will address me as I am, you see, for I am not what I appear to be. I am a free thinker. I am educated. I am not your drudge. I am a mother, a nurse, a chef, a maid, an accountant, and at times a miracle worker. I negotiate naps like a pro and can remember the birthdays of even your most obscure relatives. I plan playdates, dinner menus, and our wedding all at the same time. I kiss every boo-boo, nurse every cold, handle every crisis with cool collective. I am your lover in the same sheets I wash on gentle cycle. I am more woman than you can handle, no matter how you turn that phrase. Yet I have the strength to wake up every day, wash and scrub and clothe and pretend that this body I hate is something I really don't. I have the ability year after year to try on swimsuits for that trip to the beach, and after all the self-defeating, self-deprecating things I say to myself all day, weary in the eyes and dread on my face, you have no right to call me anything but beautiful. Beauty is pain, honey, and I've got the battle scars inside and out. I've come up with every reason not to hate myself today, and you shut them down with one word. That is your bayonet, and you are slaying the last bits of my self-esteem. Every time you pull it out, he calls me Chubbs. It's a term of endearment. Last I checked, sir, endearment means you hold someone dear to your heart. It means you would never hurt them. Yet you pull out your machete and you slice me open. You see the shame on my face and the pain in my eyes, and yet you still find the need to cut me down. He called me Chubbs, but not anymore. I picked up the pieces of my dignity and self-esteem, and I walked out that door. You see, I learned something from him. Folks like him, they have a hard time being alone, so full of mirth, so full of self-loathing, and so I left him to wallow in that sadness by himself. No longer would I drag me through the mud to make himself feel better. Although he may have loved me in that twisted way he did, he did not respect me, and he told me repeatedly every time he called me Chubbs.